The medial meniscus is located between the medial condyle of the femur and the medial condyle of the tibia. The lateral meniscus is located between the lateral condyle of the femur and the lateral condyle of the tibia. Each meniscus is thin along its inner margins and thick along the outer margins. They are attached to tibia condyles, but do not attach to the femur. The menisci provide padding between the bones and work as cushions to help fill the gap between the round femoral condyles and the flattened tibial condyles. Some areas of each meniscus lack an arterial blood supply, and thus these areas heal poorly if damaged. The knee joint has multiple ligaments that provide support, particularly in the extended position. Located at the sides of the knee, there are two ligaments, the lateral collateral ligament and the medial collateral ligament. The lateral collateral ligament, which is also known as fibular collateral ligament, is on the lateral side and extends from the lateral epicondyle of the femur to the head of the fibula. The medial collateral ligament, which is also known as tibial collateral ligament, runs from the medial epicondyle of the femur to the medial tibia. As it crosses the knee, the tibial collateral ligament is firmly attached on its deep side to the articular capsule and to the medial meniscus. In the fully extended knee position, both collateral ligaments are pulled tightly, thus providing stability and support the extended knee and prevent side-to-side -side or rotational motions between the femur and tibia. The articular capsule of the posterior knee is thickened by intrinsic ligaments that help resist knee hyperextension. Within the joint, there are two intracapsular ligaments, the anterior cruciate ligament and the posterior cruciate ligament. These ligaments are anchored inferiorly to the tibia at the intercondylar eminence, the area between the tibial condyles. The words anterior and posterior in the names of the cruciate ligaments represent their positions of attachments to the tibial condyle. The word cruciate actually means cross, and the use of this word is because of the X shape they make as they pass each other. Each ligament runs diagonally upwards to attach to the inner aspect of a femoral condyle. The posterior cruciate ligament is the stronger ligament. It serves to support the knee when it is flexed and weight-bearing, as when walking downhill. In this position, the posterior cruciate ligament prevents the femur from sliding anteriorly off the top of the tibia. The anterior cruciate ligament becomes tight when the knee is extended and thus resists hyperextension.